Welcome guys, welcome back. Now we'll see some more details about the kind of other plants what they have. So they have a <coughs> very good palm tree and it's been maintained really good. They cut the branches off, they, cut, they water it properly, they, could, they put manure and everything for them, they take out the weeds. So every maintenance is done very good guys. It's really nice like there are a lot of tall trees like they have a coconut uh, of tree of a family of trees. It's been so tall, it's, it's very unusual because I'm being a South Indian. Uh, I've not seen this long uh, kind of coconut trees. It's unusually long, twice the size of what I've seen in my places. So this is very good. They're, they're maintaining it so good. And you can see this is a nursery garden setup and it's been maintained so well, watered properly. When it comes for sales, people can able to easily buy it. So they're kept ready. They're watered. They're kept ready with the pot so people can able to purchase it. You can see how it's been maintained. So it's the entrance for the uh, nursery. So it's kept in the entrance of the Sardar Patel farm. So when people are coming inside, they can able to uh, see whatever plant they want, they can able to buy it. You can see. So for the maintenance people, there is proper furnitures and other things given, equipments, machinery, electricity, and all the necessary tools for gardening and maintaining. Everything is given to them so that the shelter and everything is taken care. And because of that, the workers really work with good amount of uh, quality. And then finally, the farm is getting really good. Okay. So now we'll see an important thing guys, playing music. You know what, it's very interesting when we actually, when I, when I first actually visited this, because the owner of the farm said, we're actually playing music for the plants. He said, I was asking, hey, why do you have speakers in the middle of the farm? Uh, I, I, I was asking, hey, are you listening to music while you're working? He said, no, this music is not for me. This is for my plants. <laughs> We were, I was very, very surprised. Like I was asking, hey, what are you saying? And he explained, plants have a tendency to listen to music. If any good music is there, plants will definitely listen. Plants will be very happy and their growth will be very, very good. If the plant, if you're happy, your growth will be good, right? Same, same for human. So they are also living organisms. Of course, the good music is very good for them as well. They grow very exponentially. They make the full growth. They were very happy. You get a very positive mood and ambience. It was very abstract for me when I listened to it. Can you see this music instrument? Some something based on the uh, airflow in the natural environment outside. This keeps get, uh, making some sound. See, this sound is very uh, what do you call ple peaceful and pleasant for the plants in order to grow. See how beautiful they are thought. And you know what? I had a discussion with my grandma also. She also said the same. Yeah, plants have a tendency to hear. If you if you keep on scolding a plant, hey, why are you not giving fruits, fruits? Hey, why are you this? Why are you like this? Why are you like that? The plant will get angry. If you encourage it positively, it will give you fruits. She said it like that. I was connecting whatever this guy said and my grandma said. It actually made sense. Oh my God, this could be true. Plants can hear. They can have a positive vibration understanding with hearing music. Yes, guys, this was very interesting where I observed. Okay, and you can see there was honeybee farming also which was happening. So there was natural honey which is extracted from Sardar Patel farms and they're commercializing that also. They're selling it to the local market. They're selling it to the organic stores market because they're having a lot of producers. It's not like uh, they have only a small amount of produce. So they have a very huge produce, but you can see the honeybee. See, I just zoomed the picture. It's all natural guys. Like, like Honeybees go and make a, uh, their hives in a very, very secure place where, plant, where any humans cannot climb. See, that's where it took so tall to actually climb that. And after that, they had a cactus family. It's like very, very good. They had a huge amount of cactus uh, family. Like uh, you can see the ball kind of a structure. It's actually used for aesthetic purposes. It's used for decorating the halls or maybe the museums or maybe the entrance of a building so that they have a very 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 different amount of cactus family guys i, I really forgot the name but they, they said a lot of varieties of cactus family with them you know what sometimes it dries away the atmosphere and creates that kind of a dryness because it takes away all the moisture but it grows actually it is it's just really well adapted for these kind of uh, Ahmedabad climates where the extreme summer really comes okay you can see they are actually nurturing them and people are buying it people are actually having a a very crazy mood to buy this this is what is the uh, what do you call the cactus uh, family of plants what they kept it ready for selling so once if they're uh, grown to enough size it will be kept for nursery to for the people to buy see you can see how much different cactus plants are there they have put one statue of ganesh also they have put a lot of other plants also they've arranged it neatly and very creatively 
so people when they're actually seeing it they can able to make a purchase <clears throat> you can see it's an artifact what they've created it's a kind of an art sculpture they wanted to do so that garden was entirely creative it's like like even the arrangement the neatness the maintenance it was really good Sardar Patel Farms is one of the best farms I've ever visited. It's like really clean, properly maintained, and it's grown. It's not all the dry places what I saw. It's always greenery. It's always fresh, green, and really good. Okay, yeah. So there are a lot of cactus varieties. There are approximately twenty to thirty different varieties of cactus plants where they're growing. And after they get into shape properly, again they'll transfer it to the pot. So once it is there in the pot, it's ready for the selling. So people can come and. purchase it i've seen many people coming there and purchasing it guys it was really good so you can see uh, so there was a lake surrounded uh, uh, around this patel farm this is actually outside the patel farms but you know what because of this the ground water is really good the reserve of ground water is very high so the plants trees and everything gets very good water around them and you know what it's really good because many organisms survive if the water reserve is really there and in terms of many organisms other organisms also survive on their behalf that is why having a water system around your own own that place is really important see this is naturally formed and sardar patel farms has taken the benefit out of it see this is the way to go to the patel farms but this is the water body which is surrounding there and you know what sardar patel farms is really really famous guys they have a good publicity they have many of the news channels media and then certain celebrities have also come here to uh, market the market i won't say market certain celebrities come here to understand hey this kind of a culture is being nurtured hey who is this guy he, this guy is doing really great his name is anand actually his name is anand and he is trying to do a lot of organic farming works he is trying to do forest development which is called permaculture he is taking care of the radius of 10 km uh, 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 what you call radius ka forest and he is developing it on his own see that is how the newspapers and media got a good coverage and then he is told about what is the history of the farms what are the plants he is growing what is the kind of culture of farming he is doing how he is watering how is he maintaining how is he adding lot of contribution to the sustainability so everything so he is a very big interesting personality across the country guys that's why lot of articles you can see there are more than 30 to 40 articles which is there in here see it's all about that that kind of a publicity what sardar patel farms had you can see it has come in the local gujarati newspapers this is actually gujarati guys the language so it has come in the local newspapers and then and there it used to come like whatever different he is making so this is the entrance of the farm guys this is where we have to go and enter you can see the yellow bus where the school students have actually come the school kids i have showed you know so this is the entrance of the farm where you can see the left side is the owner's house where he is staying and the farm is this right hand side to the entire like the 6 7 uh, 10 km radius he has a whole farm uh, available in it you can see there are some kind of a fencing which is made inside the farm so as to nurture certain plants because the animals the cow and other things are wandering freely inside the farm that is one important thing guys they make the animal lively livestock freely roam let it be goat or hen or cat or cow or anything they are freely roaming guys freely roaming and you know what they they are they are not about to come and damage this plants because it's it's been taken care of with special care so that's why they put a small fence in it once they have grown sufficiently they'll remove it so that that's the kind of thing what they have okay so they had more dense forest also guys which was which is maintained by a lot of people hundreds of people have actually spent their time to maintain it see how clean it was it was properly taken out the grass uh, the lower branches have been cut down to navigate inside if any fruits are falling down people has to go and take it and they have to see whether it needs more ripening or it's ready to sell in the market so they need to collect it for their producers so there are a lot of things guys and and this is the owner's house where he had a good amount of big house for a farm and then he has constructed it with modern techniques and then he has his own vehicle to uh, what do you call uh, have a transportation commuting because city is actually 5 to 6 kilometers away from his house if anything he wants he has to go he has to go to the city to get it right okay so this is the kind of uh, thing what they had so now i mean we have seen enough right uh, about the pictures and other things now we'll see some of the people who helped us to understand this process in detail which we'll see in the coming video guys